Hey YouTube, got an update on the pipes I've been making. Um, this last weekend got quite a bit done. Um, or la over the last four or five days, uh, got a lot of pipes roughed out. Then Friday night and Saturday, got some more pipes. And then um, actually it's Sunday now and got four of them finished. So I'll go ahead and show you those, but first, uh, right now, smoking a little Cornell and Deal uh, pirate cake in my uh, restored uh, Dunhill tan shell, 950, uh, 1953 tan shell. Great pipe. But um, on to the pipes. Let's see. Um, the first pipe is this one here. And this is, well, style, I don't know, kind of a Dublin style, but then it comes up with that straight stem. But this is the first one that I actually did in black. Did a black dye on this one. Uh, I wanted something that was kind of lightweight. And then on the top, you can see the grain. Let's see if I can get this so it shows some detail. Um, I wanted to show the grain off on top. But here is the pipe. It's all rusticated, of course you can see, and I made a little flat spot on the bottom. You can't stand pipes that roll over when you set them down. So um, this is the first one that I finished. Oh, and with the pipes, uh, these will all be for sale. And what I will do is, um, post a link to my eBay um, page where these pipes will be. And then also I'll probably post a link to my Flickr account so you can see a lot of real detailed shots. I'll also have detailed shots in um, on eBay. But And the second one is probably one of my favorite pipes I've made to date. Um, this is a, a billiard style. and rusticated but this one did have some nice grain on it so what I did is I kept the top smooth to show off that grain so I have this band on the side and then right in here and of course a flat spot on that so it sits and this one is a 7 8 inch tobacco chamber. This one right here is a 3 quarters tobacco chamber. And all the pipes, um, you can see I'll take it off. I put in Delrin rods, so perfect fit. Um, I just really like the Delrin since I've been doing that. And nice snug fit on all of the stems. But this is the rusticated billiard with the smooth top and on the stemmel here. And with uh, all my pipes, um, they're just finished in carnauba wax. So what I do is I have this uh, a small... Um, I'll post a link to it. It's a small little container of a carnauba wax, just a pure carnauba paste that usually every couple times I smoke a pipe, I'll take, just rub a little carnauba wax on it, let it dry for a minute, and then um, buff it out with a, a soft cotton cloth. And let's see, my next pipe is a little poker nose warmer. And this is a nice short little poker rusticated oh and uh, let's see if you can see it got some really pretty grain on this one and this one is a three quarters inch t uh, tobacco chamber on this one and on this one here, there are a few imperfections in the briar, 
just little void, uh, just a couple little voids. I don't know if it's showing up. A couple little voids, but you can see it doesn't run through to the other side. Um, you know, just one of those things with briar, and I can, you know, just decided go ahead and just you know finish making a pipe with it. Um, won't affect the pipe. And what I highly, highly recommend with any new pipe that hasn't been uh, pre-carbonized, whenever I get a pipe, what I do is I take a little bit of honey and water and I take a Q-tip and I coat the inside with kind of a thin down honey and water. Let that dry completely. Then what I do is um, Take, put a, just a tiny bit of honey on uh, just my pinky and then I rub the honey on the inside and just really rub it into the wood uh, inside the tobacco chamber. And what that does, the first time you smoke your pipe, it's going to make a nice uh, carbon layer in there. And the, the carbon layer, what that does, that protects the briar. Um, so if you want your uh, pipe to last a lifetime, you know, you want to keep that, that nice carbon layer in it. Um, and they say it should be, I think, a, a you know, build up, keep it at about a sixteenth of an inch. Um, but that will really make your pipe last. That and just re every time I, you know, finish smoking a pipe, I'll just uh, run a pipe cleaner down the stem all the way to the tobacco chamber and just dry it out a bit. And always let your pe your pipes rest at least a day. Um, so I'm gonna have a few bowls, but then I'll let the pipes, then I'll you know uh, clean it off real good, uh, dry it out with a Q-tip, then let the pipe set for two days before I smoke from that pipe again. And so we have this Dublin type black pipe, then we had the rusticated billiard, then we had the little nose warmer poker, and the next is a poker setter. And I actually showed this in another video. And this one again has real beautiful green on the top. And this one you can see the angle. I actually have a, designed it kind of as a slight bent pipe. Um, the stemmel comes out of uh, the uh, bowl at a little bit of an angle. Then I have a little bit of an angle in here, just a slight one. And then I have an angle on the bottom. So it sits kind of in, an, in a little upright position. Um, And there is this pipe. And this one does have a few uh, uh, imperfections in the briar. Right in here, there's a little void in the uh, briar. And on the other side, there's a little bit of a void in the briar. But like I said, if you, that, that won't cause any problems with the pipe. Especially if you take care of your pipe and you, you know, cut it with honey the first time. And you don't just smoke it all day long every day. You know, pipes really need to rest for they say at least 24 hours. I always let mine rest at least two days. And you know, with my Dunhills, I let them rest about three days. Eh, not always. Sometimes I'll smoke the next day, but I try to let them rest as much as possible. That'll prevent, I believe, that prevents the cracking um, in the briar. And then uh, that's it for my completed pipes, and I have some others here I'll show you that I have hope to have completed um, pretty soon. This next one is a small billiard, but with a big bowl. This is a 7 8 inch bowl. Real lightweight, really a lightweight pipe. This would want to be great, just to, really easy to rest in your mouth. And with the, the thin bowl on this, that's not going to pose any problem as long as you get your carbon layer going and don't fill a 7 8 inch bowl full of flake and smoke it down real fast. Um, because some of you may or may not know flake burns really hot. Um, usually for flakes I go with a larger um, thickness on the bowl and a small bowl. But here's this pipe. And this one I am going to do in a smooth finish. So this will be a smooth pipe. And sorry about that, for some reason my camera just died on me. But um, this is a poker with a nice uh, thick bowl on it. 
And this will be a uh, poker setter, so I'll have a little angle on that one. Not sure if I'm going to go with uh, rusticated or smooth on this one yet. And then last one is a billiard, but with a thick walled bowl. Uh, this is a three quarters inch. And haven't decided if I'm going to rusticate this one or do a smooth. Um, this one has actually no imperfections in the briar, but doesn't have a really great grain, so I might go rusticated, but who knows, might go smooth on this one as well. But that's it for my pipes. Um, again, real quick run through of this one. Sorry, these stems are fingerprints. They actually have a little shine to them. Um, that kind of Dublin style, then this billiard rusticated with the smooth top and bend in here. The poker nose warmer with a three quarter inch, three quarters inch bowl, a beautiful grain on the top, and the poker setter. This one again has some really pretty grain on it. But that is it, and thanks for watching.